Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 3 of Europa Universalis 4 as malware. We are starting to expand. Um, we do have some neighbours who may become problematic. Uh, we've got much more land over here that we can claim. And it would be nice to try and grab some of this. Uh, these guys are still drilling over here. We don't have an awful lot of manpower so, I would be tempted to just jump in and go straight to war. But I've just spent the last little bit of cash that I have building a capital fort. We do have some rebel factions, which can also be potentially tricky. Um, I am going to leave this fort here because it's away from the capital, so it is, it is worth having that one. Uh, but yeah, I would like to try and... Um, jump on these guys where I can and start taking bits of land from them before somebody else grabs it realistically. Uh, we're not making a huge amount of money at all. Difficult decision. Stability's at zero. We don't have any overextension. I think... Did we finish that last core? I can't actually remember now. Uh, no, we are still coring. But that's nearly done actually. It's at 97%. So we've still got these separatists. Who we could probably deal with. Um, where are you going to uh, fire? Let's have a look. Um, you should tell me here. So Thalna. So it's these provinces down here. Okay. Okay. Let's stop you from drilling and move you down then. I don't think we need to spend anything to get rid of that. We can probably just deal with it. Uh, there is a fair bit of unrest. We could just go ahead and raise the autonomy. And I hate raising autonomy, but... Sometimes you're just in a situation where it's the best thing to do. Free stability. Sure. It'll... It... it it's more expensive to buy one stability than it is to raise the um, development in a province by one in terms of admin power or, or even diplo power. So the stability is definitely the uh, the better way to go there. Um, I could get those guys to carry on drilling, but if the if these guys do pop, then we will have problems. So we will stop them from drilling for now. And hopefully we can deal with those rebels. In the meantime, we'll still try to make some more money where we can. We really do want to try and get the next admin tech, actually. Because at least if we get the next admin tech, we will be able to get the um, the mosques. Which will give us some additional tax. So, yeah, it's probably best not to... Um, it's bleeping me. Uh, it's probably best... Oh, that's an interesting point. As I'm recording, why is Discord not uh, putting me in streamer mode? Uh, move towards legalism. Yes, because we want the tax modifier. There we go. We're up to almost a ducat a month right now. I really would love to be able to um, get that admin level up. So, we need 514. It's still going to take a year or so before we get there. Uh, we will get the next military tech soon, which will be quite nice. Because that actually will give us a better infantry. And it'll also give us better shock and better combat width. So, we'll keep building up to that. Right, those separatists are now on 90%. Uh, our innova innovativeness is decreasing because we're not ahead of time on anything. That's fine. I know we're behind on this one. We will get there. We will get there. So we're approving relation with Jean Paul. There couldn't really be much higher. We're halfway through annexing those guys. We should probably wait till that's done, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'll give you military access. Just try not to come over here and give me all the attrition. Can we do anything with... What have we got here? Local development cost reduction and local goods produced go up. The Jainagar's opinion of us is, decre is increased. Or trade power can go up. Let's have the Jainagar's opinion of us increase. 
I mean, they're still our rival, right? Yeah, that's probably never going to change, but who knows? Who knows what the future might bring? Gain 60 military power. Calfi's opinion of us has changed. Or mercantilism. Again, mercantilism all the time. The more money we make, the better. Uh, recall the diplomat from Jean Paul. There's no point in you being there. Uh, we could do with another large ally. Um, Bermanis is rivaled to us and hates us. Vijaynagar is rivaled to us and hates us. Um, are there any large allies that we could have? Um, Orissa doesn't hate me. Uh, Mawa, we're going to be attacking. Delhi has rivaled me. Everywhere else is kind of a little bit too far away to be useful. Um, Orissa, let's go ahead and improve relations over there. See if there is anything to be done. I'm still waiting for this rebellion. It's almost certainly going to fire at this stage. Prefer it if it didn't, but it will. Um, so we'll see what happens there. I can't. I can't really afford to have my army drilling or off fighting somebody else when this happens. Uh, Amis gains loyalty and consider us in their debt, or we can gain some prestige. Yeah, they can gain some loyalty. Our prestige will go up, probably. It's decaying slightly. Power projection isn't great. At least manpower is on the climb. We do have some money. Uh, less than a year left until the castle has finished being built. Uh, we should be getting close to that admin tech and the military tech. So we'll grab both of those as soon as we can. Are there any more missions that we could do? What is this one? Um, Rurakantha, owned by us, or one of our tributary subjects. Uh, it gives us a permanent claim on some places. Um, so we'd need to grab that, which we could do, actually. Um... You are allied with Bermanis, though, which is a pain in the hoop. And Bermanis is pretty big. We need them to be fairly distracted before we could take that one. But it's, it's, uh, it's an option. It's not something that I'm completely ruling out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn um, this fort on. Because it looks like we might also get these guys firing. And I'd sooner them firing fire in a province that has an active fort. Uh, and then it, it'll be harder for them to actually take it. Um, could we get away with this by just increasing the autonomy? Of course, every time we increase autonomy, it reduces the amount of money we make. But it will burn down over time. Uh, we can take a tech, so admin tech. Still behind time here with uh, admin tech, actually. Yeah, really would love to get an admin advisor, but we're just not making any money. Fort maintenance, advisors maintenance, routing out corruption is not even that expensive. That's mostly gone now. Missionaries, yeah, it's all army maintenance. So really, I need to put my army maintenance down. Uh, Bengal is no longer a valid rival for Malwa. Okay, so who else do we want to uh, rival then? Um, probably Mawar, actually, because we will be attacking them relatively shortly. They are our neighbor, so might as well make them our rival and get some better power projection out of them. Castle is now done. Let's go ahead and turn the castle off so it doesn't cost us too much money. Uh, we can get the military tech. Now, we do get better infantry, but I don't really want to do it in case the um, things spawn. 45 Mandu, so this is to um, have a fort level of at least three somewhere. 
Reduces our construction costs and increases our fort defense. Excellent. So the next mission there is have a, have at least 10 mosques, uh, which would give us some admin power. That would be quite nice. Um, and what have we got for this one? I can't remember. All provinces in the uh, Buckelkind area. Well, yeah, we'll, we will get that, actually. Um, right, so why are we still losing money? It's probably the fort maintenance, isn't it? Well, we may end up taking out a loan. If if we do, so be it. Um, get some local autonomy or lose some admin power. We'll take the autonomy. So we have two potential um, rebellions that are likely to spawn. And I would like to get the, both of them dealt with. If I if I change my uh, infantry type now, we are we're going to lose morale basically. What are the chances of either? Of, that was the wrong key. What are the chances of either of them firing? I think we're safe to change this. This will be where this will be it. You know, this will be where I've. Uh, where I go, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then it's not fine. But we shall see. We shall see what happens. Uh, I think also once this missionary is finished doing his conversion. Although these are all separatists. We're not really seeing any um, any religious uh, revolts going on right now. Uh, but Marnus has declared war on Chanda. That's fine. I really would love to just jump in and, and start doing something somewhere, but we're just a little bit too poor. At least if we could attack somebody, we'd potentially... See, Gujarat, you're not allied with anybody. We do have a truce with you, but you're not allied with anybody at the moment. You would potentially... Although we don't have a CB on you, because we don't have any adjacent territory. But we are 90, almost 92% of the way through our annexation, which is good. We've almost got full morale back on these guys as well. Uh, Grant Generalship has now expired, so we could get another general if we wanted to, but I don't think we need to do that just yet. Still losing money. I really don't want to put my army maintenance down at this time. 4.6 years, 83.3 years. Um, if I turn this fort off... Will that change that one? Because it's 0 0.01. And that, that will burn down over time. What? Where is that unrest coming from? Religious unity, not accepted culture. Separatism. The separatism will, will burn off as time goes on. So that one should actually start to deteriorate. Of course, more stability would also reduce that as well. But I can't really afford stability. So unless we get any sort of positive um, positive thing that increases our stability for us. We've only got the one province here that's causing any unrest, which is this one. And even though it says that it's likely to be 4.6 years before it fires, integration is a slow pro process. Right, in integration is done. That suddenly gives us four more troops. And our force limit is 17. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we are going to split this in half. We're going to disband the half with the cav because we simply can't afford to maintain it. We'll move the rest of you guys down there. We also now have another fort. Excellent. Let's turn that off. Just losing money all over the place. So yes, even though that it says it's it could be 4.6 years, I mean it could still spawn next month. That's the problem. Need more money. I think we might end up taking a loan. It's going to be an unfortunate turn of events. I mean, if we just go to war, then we could get some, you know, we'll get money from looting. We'll also be able to um Grab some money in the peace deal, which is probably not a bad idea. Uh, we've done a conversion. Um, 
Without having the active missionary, is that going to reduce our outgoings? Not really. Um, those separatists are kind of going away now. Those ones should be going away too. Um, let's get you guys... I'd love to keep you drilling. But I think what's more important right now is to actually save a little bit of money. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce the army maintenance and start trying to make some money again. Uh, let's go ahead and start um, keeping these going. Of course, it does cause more um, separatism. Yeah, I should have let that uh, disappear first. Uh, keep moving towards legalism. In fact, let's let's go and cancel that for now. Um, can we do one in a different state where it's not? Yeah, so this this will be in a different place now. I'm just trying to spread my missionary around so that he's not constantly building up uh, rebellions all in the same place. Let's go ahead and start trying to improve relations with you. Maybe we'll be able to integrate you fairly soon. And I think the time might be coming where we do have to go ahead and, and get this done. We do have claims over here. Let's have one more look and just see what their military uh, is like. Um, Mawar, 12k, I think we'll be alright. I would like to get this um, alliance with Arissa if possible. Uh, you would accept a royal marriage. Now, I know that'll put, put us over... No, it won't put us over our relationship limits, actually, because we've just... Um, we've just vassalized one of our relations, so that is useful. If you could stop being allied with Bamanis at any point, that'd be cool. I know that I don't have a CB against them. I was just having a look to see if Bamanis would actually come in on their side. Uh, you are allied with Idar, who wouldn't even come in to help you. Uh, so we should definitely be building a spy network over here. We probably still have a truce. No, we don't, actually. That's useful. Uh, move towards legalism. Um, that's only in one pro... Yeah, we'll just go for the legalism because I really want to try and get some tax money coming in. What we probably could do is get a loan and use that loan to get a couple of... Um, uh, mosques in straight away to try and get some more tax money coming in. Uh, so all forts, all, we've got three forts. They're all currently turned off. I think I think that is reasonable. Um, you are likely to pop in 250 years, which means you're likely not to pop. So yeah, I think we're okay. Um, I really don't want you drilling. Uh, increase national unrest or lose 10 prestige. That's national unrest going up. Um, it's only for five years though, so I think we might be alright. Uh, move more towards legalism. Losing prestige. I really don't like losing prestige, but legalism is just so good when you're short of, a f of money. We're max legalism now. We might have actually been before. Uh, but we're max legalism now, so that's going to give us as, as much money as we can get. So, when am I going to start this war? That is the question. Now we've got this additional... Yeah, that's going to be a pain. Building a spy network on you, Arissa. Can we get an alliance with you? Yes, we can. Excellent. Now they are, or were at war, they are at war, they are winning. So I don't think they're going to call me into their current war, which is fine. Uh, my force limit is, I'm actually over the force limit by one, interestingly enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of one guy here. I know being over the force limit by one isn't the end of the world, but uh, when you're making this little money... It actually makes quite a significant difference. So, let's go ahead and move you guys up here. And let's get ready to start something. I mean, we could literally jump straight in on their capitals here. Which might not be a bad thing to do. 
We could split this army in two. Move half of that army around in this direction. Because we do have two leaders. Jump in on there. Jump in on you. Jump in on you. And get both of their capitals quite quickly. And still have them next to each other. Close enough to reinforce. That's kind of the plan that I'm going on here right now. Who else are you allied with? Javahad and Jagara. Javahad is where... There. And Jagara. Yeah, so we might get some problems coming from this side of the map. We do still have a couple of vassals. We might be able to get our allies to come in and help us. Let's go ahead and see if we can improve relations over here. It's certainly not a bad thing to do. When do we want to start this war? I think we want to get ready to do it relatively quickly. So I'm going to go ahead now and put my army maintenance up. And I will also... Um, raise war taxes when we go to war as well. It's probably the best thing that we can do. I'm not going to turn this fort on. I don't think I will need to. I will turn on the capital fort though. So let's just turn on the forts from the direction where we think we're going to be attacked. Let's let everyone get up to full maintenance first. And what I will try... See, he's he knows something's about to happen, look. He's just, he's just moved out of there. And it's now the first of the month, which hopefully means that I can um, attack without any forts being turned on. But we'll see. We'll see how that one works out. However, we will see in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.